हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फिशरीज ओनली नरिशिंग फिश नर्चरिंग लाइफ और एजुकेशनल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर एस्पेक्ट्स रिगार्डिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन एंड एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ चाइन फिटिश वाटर प्रॉम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टू गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज प्रॉम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ चाइन फिश वाटर प्रॉम एंड एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर फ्रॉम मैक्रोबैक्म रोजम्बरी एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी मीन्स प्रोवाइड्स द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड देयर फंक्शन दैट इज द आउटवर्ड अपेरेंस दैट प्रोवाइड द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द स्ट्रक्चर कलर एंड पैटर्न साइज ऑफ दैट एनिमल्स दैट इज द एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी and internal morphology provides the information about the circulatory system respiratory system digestive excretory system reproductive and nervous system that is the nothing but the anatomy of the animal in this video we are to going to discuss more regarding about the external morphology of giant freshwater prawn prawns are the nutritious and tasteful foods for the human being which belong to the phylum arthropoda and class crustacea distributed throughout india in mostly fresh water his life cycles require brackish water in the early developmental stages right that is the brackish water is required for the larval development early larval development of this prawn This prawn is distributed all over the world in tropical and subtropical countries like Bangladesh, Taiwan, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, then Brazil, Ecuador, Malaysia, Thailand, etc. These are mostly found in the fresh water, including the lakes, rivers, swamps, irrigation tanks. channels ponds as well as issuarine area now we are going to discuss classification it includes the phylum arthropoda that is arthropoda means the phylum which having jointed legs then class crustacea the body is covered with the carapace or hard shell order decapoda Decca means ten and poda means legs. Ten legs animals are come these in orders. Family Palaemonidae, the mostly freshwater fishes. Freshwater prawns are coming under this family, and genus is a Macrobatium and species mostly Rosenbergi. This common name is Mac Giant Freshwater Prawn. It is also called as Pocha Colombi in Marathi or Scampi in Marathi. these are the classification of the uh, macrobatium rosenbergi now we are going to discuss the external morphology external morphology as we told earlier it is nothing but the external appearance size shape uh, colors of the prawns which provide the information of different body parts and their functions externally the body is divided into two parts generally fish body is divided into three part that is head region thorax region and tail region or abdominal region but the spawn is divided into two region that is cephalothorax region and abdominal region cephalothorax are the jointed of the head region and thorax region that is called as cephalothorax the head cephala and thorax are here Are joining. That's why called as the cephalo thorax. The body of adult prawn or post larvae of prawn divided into cephalo thorax, that is head and thorax, and the abdominal, that is the tail region. It is divided into two parts. The body of freshwater is divided into twenty segments. This prawn body is divided into 20 segments 
out of 14 segments are present in the head and they are fused together and invisible present under the carapace. Carapace is uh, nothing but the dorsal and lateral shield present on the body within with the heart, digestive systems, circulatory systems and other nervous systems are enclosed. That is the carapace. Carapace is nothing but the heart shell which is covered dorsally as well as laterally. Carapace is a hard, smooth and having spines. Carapace is at the end with a long beak called as a rostrum which is a slender and curved upwards which is slender and curved upwards rostrum having dorsal teeth and ventral teeth this rostrum has a dorsal teeth and the ventral teeth front portion of the cephalothorax is known as cephala that is the head region and it has six segments such as the eyes and five pair of the appendages cephalon segments support the animal from front these cephalon segments support the animal from the front first one is the stalked eyes it is present in pairs second segment is uh, first antenna second antenna fourth one is mandible it is a short and hard used to grind the food that is the mouth part first maxillary these are the plate like used to transfer the food into the mouth this like the hands second maxillary similar to the first maxillary additionally this performs continuous beating and hence produce currents of water through the gill chambers to provide to facilitate the respiration that is the second maxillary is a continuously beating that's why the currents are water currents are produced which helps for the respiration of the crown rare portion of the cephalothorax called as a thorax and it consists of eight segments that is the six segments in the cephalon and eight segment on the thorax which are fused segments and are visible as a appendage pair of the appendages three sets of maxillary pads and five pairs of periopods first and second maxillary pads are similar to the maxillary and functions as a mouth part which carry the foot towards the mouth third maxillary pads are also mouth part but looks like the legs third maxillary pads are also mouth part and looks like a legs then the five pairs of the periopods out of the first and second periopods have a chilate legs and also called as a chili pads these first two are having chilate legs first two pairs are the chilate legs second chilate leg is stronger than the first periopods and used for capturing the food and fighting mostly while fighting during the mating that is in the male of the rosenbergi m rosenbergi the second chilet leg is a stronger longest pair mostly blue in color and used for capturing the food and also used to fighting behavior used for fighting behavior during the copulation or mating third fourth and fifth periopods are much shorter than the second chilipeds and simple claws called as a walking legs these are the walking legs these five pairs are the walking legs first two are chilet legs second one is the largest and strongest chilet leg in female eggs are extruded from the hole 
gonopore at the base of third periopods that is the working legs in male sperm is extruded from the gonopore situated at the base of fifth periopore that is the fifth working working legs left and right second leg working leg is strong and long periopods includes chemoreceptors these periopods that is the working legs consist or pre, uh, includes the chemoreceptors cells that is sensitive to the foods and salts in the aqueous environment now we will discuss about the abdomen abdomen segment this is nothing but the tail region divided into six segments and each bearing a pair of appendages known as the pleopods that is also called as swimmers or swimming legs the abdomen is consist of six segment each segment bears a appendages pair of appendages called as pleopods which is also called as swimming legs first five pairs are soft first five pairs of pleopods are soft in female they have a attachment sites for holding the clusters of the eggs in female the city are present on this pleopods to hold the uh, clusters of the eggs bunches of the eggs so they can carry their eggs during uh, breeding seasons in male second pair of the swimming legs modified in male second pair of the pleopod is modified for use in copulation and which is known as appendix muscularum and which is known as appendix muscularum used to transfer the this sperm six pair of swimming legs is known as uropod six pair of the swimming leg is known as uropod the last one is uh, telson is the central appendages on the last segment telson is the appendages on the last segment and has a broad point with two small spines and broad spine with two small spines telson and uropods form the tail fan which used to a sudden movement backward movement by the animal by the rodent thus the we discuss about the 20 segments of the prawn and this is the external morphology in which we discuss about the cephalo what is cephalothorax abdomen what is carapace what is tail sir what is walking legs what are the pleopods branch rostrums rostral tricks antenna antennules small cilipeds and longer cilipeds etc we will just discuss the functions segment and their pairs and the functions first one body part is the cephalon the front portion of the cephalothorax it is called as a cephalon that is the head consists of six segment that is uh, first one is a uh, embryonic segment functions are not known second one is the first antenna antenna that is the tentacle and having a sensory perceptions second third segment is a uh, second antenna that is the tentacle fourth segment is a mandible which is helped to cutting and grinding the foods that is the part of the mouth fifth segment consist of the first maxillary that is food handling or food transferring transporting towards the mouth second maxillary food handling water circulation through the gill chambers and then the thorax that is the rare portion of the cephalothorax having eight segments
that is seventh segment which one is a uh, first maxillary piece which is useful for feeding and food handling second maxillary piece also eighth segment of the body is a uh, second maxillary piece which is also help helpful in the feeding and food handling the third ninth one is the third maxillary piece which is also helpful in feeding and food handling 10 segments consist of first periopod that is uh, food it is mostly used for the capturing of the food that is the chilipeds or chillet legs that is the walking legs second periopod it is also called as a second walking leg it is also chillet leg used for capture and mostly useful in the fighting behavior during the mating third periopod is a walking leg in female gonopores are present between the base of the third periopod fourth periopod is also helpful in walking fifth periopod helps in walking in male male gonopore is lie between the fifth periopods then fifth 15 segment of the body is a first pleopod. Pleopod is nothing but the swimming legs or sw swimmer ends, which is helpful for swimming. Second pleopod uh, helpful in swimming and in male mostly it is consist of appendage musculina which is helpful in transferring the sperm during the copulation. Third pleopod that is the 17th segment is the third pleopod it is helpful in swimming the 18th segment is the fourth pleopod helpful in swimming and 19th is the fifth pleopod helpful in swimming and 20th segment is the europod it is mostly used for propulsion together with central telsa that the 20th segment from the telsa or tail fin which is helpful for the backward movement, sudden backward movement of the palm. Thus, here we try to view the external morphology of the giant freshwater form that is the macrobrachian dolphin marine. If you like video, please subscribe the channel and promote the channel.